tips for search with chat AI. Hello world, I'm an iOS app developer and the CEO of Chat Questions Academy trying to broadcast tips and features of IT solutions. Please visit my website chat-question.com for more information including my creations of iOS apps. Now let's begin the talk shows. Today, I would like to talk about a way to search something with chat AI. I believe the search engine would be changed dramatically with chat AI. So, catch up on the latest information, sir. Or you could be one of the old men soon. In Japan, sir, we are having the long holidays called Golden Week, sir. What kind of long holidays you have in your country, by the way? IT engineers such as me can have a chance to study new things.、Uh, this is a time to innovate your lives. So,、uh, for the long holidays,、uh, let's study some things. In my case,、uh, it was a chance to study chat AI. Through my studies,、uh, one of the findings regarding AI was、uh, using it for English teachers. It can be some foreign language teachers,、uh, not only for English but also other languages. If you are now studying some foreign languages, you should try it. As I said、uh, at my previous podcast,、uh, I have to admit、uh, Microsoft Bing is the best of several chat AI. The reason is the voiced input functions. It can also respond to your questions orally. By using a smartphone such as an iPhone. So,、uh, this is、uh, good for your listening study、uh, while changing your pronunciations by voice input. That's why、uh, I came up、uh, with some ideas of starting my Japanese YouTube channel、so, where I have some conversations with、uh, AI English teachers. To do the tools,、uh, mod- most Of my SNS followers are Japanese IT engineers who cannot speak English well. I'm now planning to talk about programming such as Python in English with the AI teacher so that our followers can learn not only English but also programming Python. This is a kind of the connecting dots my respected. Apple founder Steve Jobs mentioned at the speech of the Stanford University. My dots or my experience were English and Python, connecting the dots. Now that、uh, I have tried、uh, Chat AI for many times、uh, for this purpose,、uh, I'd like to share some tips for using it、uh, at the end of this talk show. As I said before, the, You can feel how useful chat AI would be with the voice input. In this respect,、uh, I recommend、uh, Microsoft Bing. I believe Gaffer, Google, Apple, Meta, Amazon would create a voice input function with chat AI in the near future, or they could g o n e out of business. So, this is important. The search engine of Chat AI reacted to not only the keywords but also the previous sentence you input on AI. This means your keywords d o e s not have to be the exact spellings or the exact combinations of several words. In other words, your context with Chat AI could be the subject to search instead of the keywords. This is an absolute difference from the conventional search engine such as Google. And it works well with voice input. So it is important to have a little conversation s with AI before searching something. This is the tips for chat AI. Any previous input, such as、uh, I'm now studying English or I'm now finding some Python code. Would be the better response of chat AI. Please remember, AI always learns with your previous comments. That's why you can use a pronouncer with chat AI. Anyway, take it easy. Well,、uh, that's it for today. Thank you for listening.